Have you ever wondered, could you make your own geode? Today I'm going to teach you how with my experiment, Egg Geodes. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your eggs because things are about to get sparkly. For this one, you need some raw eggs, a paintbrush, a heat safe glass, food coloring, some borax, white glue, and one cup of boiling water. So the first thing you wanna do is break open your raw eggs. You just want those eggshells. So you want as big of an eggshell as possible. So I recommend just doing it right at the end here. Whoop, just like that. Beautiful, exactly like this. So we're gonna go ahead and clean out our eggshells. So now we are going to take our glue and paint the inside of our eggs. Make sure you just get a thin layer of glue in there, just all around. And then, once you have your glue, take your borax. And you just want a little bit of borax all along the inside of your eggshell. Just like that. Now, this borax is going to act as our seed crystals, which is going to kickstart the crystallization process of our borax and create our geodes. So we wanna set these aside to dry, and while we do that, let's go ahead and make our super saturated borax solution. So what you need for your super saturated borax solution is one cup of boiling water. So now that our water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out one cup. Pour that into our glass. And now we are going to add three tablespoons of borax, one at a time. One, gonna go ahead and mix that in. And we're gonna want all of the borax to dissolve because what we're doing here is we're creating a super saturated solution. The water is really hot right now, which means it can hold more borax than room temperature water. So we are going to get as much borax to dissolve in our water as possible to completely saturate our solution. Two, stir that in. I'm gonna go ahead and add our third tablespoon. I'm just gonna add this one a little at a time to make sure that it's saturated. Because what you wanna do is you wanna add borax until it won't dissolve anymore. So you basically just wanna completely saturate it, but it's kinda hard to tell how much borax each individual cup of water will need until you do it. And you might ask, well, what is Borax. Borax is a cleaning agent. It's often used in detergent and in laundry. And a safety note to parents and adults, because we are dealing with the cleaning agent, just make sure that littles and pets are kept far away from this so that they don't try to eat the crystals because they probably will look a little tasty. They're crystals, they'll look very beautiful, but don't eat them. They're not safe to eat. Do not ingest this science experiment. You want your solution to be clear. And if you're having trouble mixing in the rest of the borax, like you still see some of it on the bottom of your glass, just go ahead and put your solution in the microwave and heat it up for 25 second intervals and checking and stirring in between. Because what that does is that heats up your solution and hotter solution can hold more borax than colder solution. So that will allow more of it to dissolve. But once you have your solution clear, just like this, we're going to add in three or four drops of food coloring. Just like that. So we are going to make purple geodes with this one. So we are going to put our eggshells inside of our solution and then set the solution aside to cool. What's going to happen is as the solution cools, it will become super saturated, meaning there's too much borax in the solution for the temperature that it's out. And that borax wants to undissolve. It wants to jump out of the solution and it does that as crystals, but it needs something to hold on to. That is what our seed crystals inside of our eggshells are for. So we are going to concentrate all of that crystal growth inside of our egg 
making our geode. So once your water is just a little bit warm, it's not super hot, but it's just a little bit warm, go ahead and place your eggshells in it. And the trick here is to place it right in the center of your cup, because if it touches the sides, those crystals will grow on the side of your egg and on the glass, kind of gluing them together. So you wanna to try to prevent that from happening. So just place it right in the center there. Beautiful, try to move it a little bit from there so it's not touching the sides. Perfect. Now set your solution aside for at least eight hours or just overnight. I prepped some of these ahead of time. So I'll go ahead and show you what they look like. So these have been sitting overnight, growing crystals and the eggs. Here's the big reveal. Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at those beautiful egg geodes. Are you kidding me? Those are so pretty. Those are so beautiful. Let me get more out. Whoa. Gorgeous. This is so pretty. Okay, and finally, a red one. Oh, pink. It's pink. Look. are oh my goodness are you kidding me this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life wow look at those so our borax crystallized on those seed crystals as the solution cooled from our super saturated solution and created our beautiful colorful egg geodes So we used raw eggs, but you might be tempted to use plastic eggs for this experiment. But I'm telling you, I've tried it and it doesn't work. It's just too smooth. You need something with little nooks and crannies for the glue and the borax crystals to really hold on to. But if you're allergic to eggs, you can go outside and use leaves or pine cones because those are just rough enough to work really well. Thanks for making colorful egg geodes with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.